part of a more serious message, though. Demonstrations have been taking place as Sky's Dan Whitehead reports. Well, this is the first full day of protests here at the G7 summit in Cornwall. It all began on the other side of the coast, not here in St Ives, but over in Falmouth, where there was a youth climate strike. It was the US president and UK prime minister in blimp form that started protests in Falmouth. Young campaigners gathered on the beach to send their message. It's just absolutely crucial that climate is on the agenda for this G7, not just because of the pivotal moment in which we're in with the climate crisis and also leading up to COP26, but also because the countries that are here have historic responsibility to act on the climate. And a lot of countries who won't be at this G7 are already experiencing the impacts of that firsthand right now. That's the picture in Falmouth here in St Ives. Extinction Rebellion have been holding their first major protest. It is climate that is top of the agenda. More than 500 protesters marched through St Ives. To be frank, I feel we just need to come to our senses. You know, we could, there's a lot of science, but actually if we come to our senses, I, there are places I can't breathe because of exhaust fumes. But I want them to listen to what we're saying and rather than just talking about things, making a few policies and creating sound bites, they need to take action. Well, the protests will continue right throughout the weekend. They are sending a clear message to the G7 leaders that it can't just now be about talk. It's got to be about action with climate change top of the agenda at the summit and amongst these protesters.